tonight, 3.3 million. That's how many Americans applied for unemployment benefits in the last week, according to the U.S. Department of Labor. 12 News reporter Jordan James wanted to see what the situation is here in Southeast Texas. He talked to some folks who are affected. From barbers to bartenders, it's a tough time for those in the service industry. Many are just hoping that they can return back to work so that they can do what they do best. Empty glasses and vacant venues. That's the reality for service industries during a global pandemic. It, it's a strange feeling walking in there and seeing nobody in there and knowing that no one's going to be in there for a while. As time goes by, money runs dry for Crystal Chase on a mid county bartender. She says her family is running out of options. We live check to check working as servers and bartenders, you know, so we don't have we don't have anything coming in with not being able to, to be at work. Jason is one of the many folks across the nation who are now out of a job because of the coronavirus restrictions put in place to decrease the number of cases. It hurts. It does. I actually I get really, really emotional every time I think about this. Thursday, the U.S. Department of Labor reported that nearly 3.3 million Americans applied for unemployment benefits last week, which is the most since 1982. With this being such an acute event is really why we're seeing such a significant increase all of a sudden. Workforce Solutions labor market analyst Lauren Vergervin says the coronavirus has drastically impacted the economy. And because there's not a clear timeline of how long something like this will take, it's very hard for us to, to have a good idea of what the medium term or long term consequences will be. Consequences that have left folks like Chase Sun wondering where to go from here. I'm just very, very hopeful that things are going to turn around and things are going to get better quicker than people are expecting. I just I, like I said, I, I have to think that I have to think positive about that. Officials with Workforce Solutions say that March unemployment numbers will be out in April and they expect them to reflect what we're seeing across the country. Reporting here in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.